Hello world, my croquettes! In today's video we will consider a non-standard option for controlling various sensors and indicators from a computer, namely wireless control over Wi-Fi will be done. Here is what we have, laptop, LED traffic light, touch sensor and encoder. Moreover, the set of sensor is practically unlimited by modifying the firmware you can connect everything you need. And in order to connect them into a single chain, you will use ready-made ESP32 and ESP8266 modules of various versions. For correct assembly, we turn to the electrical diagram. It can be found in the archive in the Telegram channel. It is convenient to place Wi-Fi modules on breadboards. We start the power supply for them separately. We will connect it to the free USB ports of the laptop. The sensor used are also bolted together. We connect with mounting wires. And so the sensors are connected. We arrange them for convenient use. Once again check the correctness of all electrical circuits and start working. I run the batch file. There are some conditions for a laptop, no internet access, and the ability to work as a Wi-Fi access point. In the meantime, the network is being configured. Let's connect the power to the modulus. The network is configured. We are waiting for the connection to be established with all ESP modules. The blue light indicates that the module is connected to the network. Now open the HTML file on your computer. The ping procedure is very poorly done. With it you have to wait at least 30 seconds to get information about the presence of modules in the network. The developer tools in the browser show the reasons for the connection failure and the pooling time. Thus, you can find out if a device with an IP address is present or not. We press the button to show what we found on the network. Four IP addresses appear. The first is the host. The rest are Wi-Fi modules. We get their names. These are internal programming data. Ping is needed, so every time the power is reset, the module will receive a dynamic IP address. Knowing the names, we will make tags in order to better understand which model we are working with. This is ESP8266 version 0.1. This is ESP32. This is ESP8266 version 2.0. Let's take a look at how a touch button works. Select a module, command and click send. In response, the module sends data about the state of a button that is connected to it. Let's try to light up the leads. Here everything is also simple. Select the desired command, prescribe the color. If the color is red, yellow or green, then the LED will light up. We work in the same way with another module. For a computer. All three modules are the same. It sends them the same commands. Let's get data from the encoder. It was an encoder from another module. We twist it clockwise. Now in the other direction, counterclockwise. Let's work with the lower encoder by choosing the correct module. We twist first in one direction, when in the other. Let's take a quick look at the electrical circuit. To work you need a laptop or computer with a Wi-Fi card that can work as an access point. ESP modules of various versions, ESP32 and ESP8266 will be connected to this network, used as sensors, LED traffic light, touch button and encoder. Let's take a quick look at the software part. Program line settings to create Wi-Fi hotspot in Windows 7. Turn off a previously created access point. 
The file on a laptop is a plain HTML with a minimum of elements. The most important thing is in the JavaScript file. Commands for working with the Wi-Fi modular, a package for receiving and transmitting, used to form JSON objects. The procedure for updating the list of modules, data for the information of the IP address, cycle for 255 values. The IP address will be stored in a special map object. We open a connection via HTTP. An error handler, in it we delete non-existing modules in the network. Additionally, in the HTTP object we write the timestamp of pressing the scan and the current IP address in the loop iteration, updating the 30-second counter. We show the list of modules. First, we clear the entire list when and the we found IP addresses. The procedure for sending a command to a modular read the indices of the selected elements in combo boxes. We get the IP address and command number. For each command, fill in the Wi-Fi package and form a JSON object from it. Knowing the IP address, we open a connection via WebSocket. To receive data from ESP, we form a separate procedure. In it, we deserialize the JSON object received from the ESP module and fill the edit control with response data. Secondary functions libraries used for the sketch. The sketch is the same, but different ESPs are used, so we use conditional compilation. Wi-Fi network data and buffers for receiving and transmitting. Commands for work, modular name as an identifier in addition to the IP address. Used pins for encoder, traffic light and touch buttons. Launch a terminal for debugging. We are waiting for a connection with a Wi-Fi access point. Blue LED control. Pin modes for controlling sensors and indicators. External interrupts for the encoder. It does not work stably with bad encoders. Sometimes there are gaps or image genre returns. The hardware STM32 did better. We get the client for the server for reading incoming messages. If something arrives, when we send the data to the debug terminal and start decrypting it. By the command number, we execute the required section of the code. For a traffic light, we check the data sent with the command and turn on the indicated LED or turn off everything. For the encoder, we transfer its current value. We do the same for the touch buttons. We form a string from a JSON object and send it back to the computer. We close the connection. That's all. See you in the next video. Subscribe, my cat.